Good evening. Welcome to Jazz from the South, the Skip Pearson Jazz Foundation's first virtual concert series. We invite you to sit back, relax, and right from the comfort of your home, enjoy an evening filled with live jazz music. But before we begin, let's hear from our partners in the arts. We are Garden City Jazz, the Southeast region's number one resource for jazz events and music education. We are artists and art supporters who appreciate jazz music of all genres. It is our mission to connect, promote, and to develop new alliances while connecting to new audiences. Our objectives? To promote great performances, to develop meaningful programs, and to make the art of jazz music available to everyone. Through its supporters, Garden City Jazz presents several programs annually, providing performance opportunities for area jazz musicians, music students, while promoting awareness of the historical and cultural significance of jazz music. Please contact us at 782-233-5299. That's 782-233-5299 with questions about our events, programs, sponsorship, talent and vendor opportunities. We are Garden City Jazz. IWJ, International Women in Jazz, is a not-for-profit 501c3 organization that is committed to supporting female jazz artists and related professionals. IWJ recognizes and acknowledges the contributions continuously made by women to the world of jazz music. Through a myriad of projects and programs, IWJ provides all of its members with assistance and opportunities. At the heart of IWJ's mission is the dedication to ensuring a place for women as a vital part of the past, present, and future of jazz music. IWJ needs your support. You can find them online at internationalwomeninjazz.org. That's internationalwomeninjazz.org. PPI Recording Studio, located in New York City's Soho District, is the premier studio for anything related to producing audio and sound. PPI offers a fully equipped facility featuring the newest software to include Pro Tools, Peak, and Waves. PPI is a recording studio for the experienced professional and novice alike. PPI's owner, Chip Fabrizi, is considered to be one of New York City's best recording engineers. For over 30 years, Chip has worked with some of film, radio, and television industry's top professionals. Beginning his career as a drummer, Chip has the advantage of knowing just how music instrumentation should sound on a recording. As a winner of several Academy Awards, PPI's impeccable reputation is being able to produce the best in audio sound, has brought numerous Broadway and off-Broadway shows to his doors, PBI has mastered, produced, and engineered hundreds of CDs which have gained it an impressive client roster. So if you need to record audio and sound, please contact PPI Recording Studio at 646-591-0065. That's 646-591-0065. Jazz Foundation of America takes care of the very people who have always taken care of you. Artists and musicians who have been playing to the soundtrack of your entire life. When you learned to dance, who was playing? When you fell in love, who made it more meaningful? And when you broke up, who played the music that let you cry and got you through? And now you can be there for them when they need you. At JFA, we believe that love and creative solutions are needed to heal the lives of creative people who have already contributed to making the world more beautiful. Come and join us. Help care for performing artists across our nation. Jazz Foundation of America. Dick Leonard, retired minister, classical violinist, and jazz trombonist, a graduate of Yale University, having performed 25 years with the Riverside Orchestra of New York City, wanted to create something unique in music presentation. 
the now famous music series Reverend Leonard created is called Project 142. The concept behind the name was to allow musicians to use his home as a free non-commercial space to perform concerts. This innovative model asked artists and musicians to self-promote their concerts, guaranteeing the attendance of 20 or more patrons. Under these conditions, they were welcomed to a free space to perform and to be part of the Project 142 family. The series began in 2010 with Reverend Leonard hosting 61 music events that fall and spring to the delight of 1,500 patrons. By the end of summer 2013, the series had outgrown Reverend Leonard's home. To move Project 142 forward, Reverend Leonard enlisted the aid of vocalist and producer Scott Albertson already a member of the Project 142 family. By the fall of 2013, Project 142 resumed its series at Clava House Recital Hall in Midtown Manhattan. Under the capable eye of Scott Albertson, Project 142 is still in operation today. All past concerts can be viewed online. To learn more about Project 142, please contact Scott by email at scot, scotalbertson.com. That's S-C-O-T at S-C-O-T Albertson dot com. Emmeline Kemp is a true Renaissance woman, one who wears the mantle of professional vocalist, producer, pianist, composer, band leader, and actress. Born before World War II in Chicago, Illinois, Emmy Kemp was declared a music prodigy at the tender age of three. An offspring of humanitarian parents, Emmy Kemp grew up in the broad-based and culturally inclusive world of gospel and blues music. In 1942, she knew enough about music to begin composing short compositions, playing her first public recital at age seven. Emmy Kemp received her formal training from the prestigious Berkeley School of Music, Northwest University and New York University, respectively. While living in Oakland, California in the mid-50s, Emmy Kemp studied with and was coached by the distinguished Dutch classical pianist Egon Petri. By the time Emmy Kemp reached her 21st birthday, she had worked with most of the prominent blues, jazz, and musical artists of her day. In 1956, Emmy Kemp enlisted in the Women's Army Corps, an auxiliary unit of the United States Army created for women's participation in the military, founded on May 15, 1942. Assigned to the Judge Advocate's Office, Ms. Emmy's responsibilities included, but were not limited to, the creation, coordination, and the production of shows for special services. Leaving the military, Ms. Emmy moved eastward, playing clubs and performance dates. Finally settling in New York City, Miss Emmy became a featured artist at the prestigious Waldorf Astoria Hotel's Peacock Alley and the world-renowned Rockefeller Center's Rainbow Room, two of a very long list of highly prestigious venues she has performed in. Early in 1970, ragtime music master Eubin Blake asked Miss Emmy to participate in his 92nd birthday concert being held at Harvard University. Around that same time, Master Blake selected her to record his music under his UB Blake music label. In 1976, being a protege of UB Blake provided Miss Emmy with the opportunity to compose the title song for a new, wholly original Broadway musical, Bubbling Brown Sugar, nominated for a Tony Award for Best Musical and the Lawrence Oliver Award for Best New Musical. Since that time, Miss Emmy has worked in cinema, performed on notable stages around the globe while composing and recording her own original music. It has been noted that Miss Emmy's music repertoire covers a wide range of styles. The fact that she is multilingual as well as multi-talented means that she has added features in an already expansive arsenal of talents. The New York Post has said her lyrics bear a distinctive identity, blending wiry, tough introspection and engaging soft-heartedness. In the New York Times noted, here is a true artist with an unusually sensitive understanding of music. Ladies and gentlemen, the Skip Pearson Jazz Foundation takes great pleasure in introducing our featured artist for the evening, Emmy Kemp.